I'm Samantha Shows from Trenton, Ontario, an avionic systems technician here at 424 Search and Rescue Squadron at Canadian Forces Base Trenton, Ontario. In the Royal Canadian Air Force, if it flies, you can be sure it's loaded with a complex array of state-of-the-art avionics. That's the communications, computer, radar, electrical, and guidance systems that are the nerve center of every fighter jet, long-range patrol aircraft or transport, and life-saving helicopter. Avionic systems technicians are the electricians of the aircraft. Essentially anything electronic, we are in charge of. Avionic systems technicians, or ABS techs, are the technical experts who install, test, and maintain everything from search radar to navigational transponders, from flight control to fire control even the famous black box flight recorders on every Canadian military aircraft. Not only do I do the electrical maintenance on the aircraft, but I also do servicing. So that would include liquid oxygen on the aircraft for when we're flying, fueling the aircraft. You'd also have to make sure that the plane is serviceable just by doing a general visual inspection to ensure that it is safe to fly. The first time I walked into the C-130 Hercules cockpit, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed by how many buttons, lights, switches, doodads, what have you inside the cockpit. And the first time you go in, you're not gonna know. And then the more and more you go through, uh, you'll get to know that, oh yeah, this button turns on the heater, this one turns on the engine, this one will turn the spoolie. It can be overwhelming, for sure, but it's great. AVS techs are posted to every RCAF squadron in Canada, but you'll also find AVS techs aboard Royal Canadian Navy ships, supporting maritime helicopters, and they go with the Army wherever they're deployed and need tactical helicopter support. As an avionic systems technician, you're not assigned to just one aircraft. You could actually broaden your horizons on other aircraft platforms. So in my career, I could end up working on the F-18. I could end up working on the Snowbirds. I could end up working on the Chinook. The possibilities are endless. As an avionic system technician, sometimes we have to go on the road as a either servicing tech or for our trade. I actually had a great opportunity last month to go to Comox for a week. We were there to train some pilots to do a lot of mountain flying. It is super cool to fly through the mountains with this large aircraft, actually. It's quite maneuverable. And it's even cooler when you have the loadmasters allow you to walk out on the back of the platform and look out at the mountains. On completion of their military and occupation training, Avionic systems technicians get posted to an RCAF wing in Canada, where they'll join the avionics team for a period of on-the-job training, followed by aircraft-specific training. When you first get posted, one of the greater things that happens is you will be assigned a mentor or a sponsor. A lot of the time, they will show you around, this is what your job is, this is what the expectations are, and it's okay to ask questions. Technicians here are very welcoming and are very knowledgeable. And a lot of times you can take that knowledge and they're more than happy to share it with you. Technicians can be assigned to first line units that handle repairs and maintenance that can be completed with the equipment still installed on the aircraft. They can also be assigned to second line units that handle more complicated repairs in a shop environment. And there are postings available at other specialized units like ATES, the Aerospace and Telecommunications Engineering Support Squadron, a one-stop shop capable of taking on new projects from the idea stage through drawing, prototyping, testing, and production phases. What I really enjoy about this career is the camaraderie, the teamwork, and I really, really thrive on a challenge. My previous job in an office was eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, uh, sitting and clicking at a computer. I wanted a challenge and I wanted something that was not in my uh, comfort zone, not within my wheelhouse. 
I am very happy that I have joined the military as an avionics systems technician and I almost wish I would have done it sooner.